Hey, what's going on everyone? Today we're going to talk about Zen. Just today, AMD held a presentation on Twitch and in Austin, Texas on Zen or what is now being called the new Ryzen series of CPUs. The Ryzen CPU line will be released in the first quarter of 2017. We only learned more about the 8 core 16 thread CPU that we've been hearing about forever. All Ryzen CPUs at launch will have base clock of at least 3.4 GHz as well as varying boost clock speeds which are currently unannounced. We also learned about the various technologies that helped Ryzen get to this point, including SenseMI, which prefetches data before you're actually using it. Lisa Su, the speaker and CEO, explained it as real machine learning, so that is very interesting. This accounts for a quarter of Zen's entire IPC boost. And then we had the benchmarks. Lisa Su explained that the original 40% IPC goal is actually being exceeded. The 8-core Ryzen CPU matched or beat the $1000 i7-6900K in every demo without Ryzen's boost clocks and at a TDP of 95 watts, 45 watts lower than the 6900K. This includes Blender, Handbrake, and also Battlefield 1 at 4K maxed out where both CPUs were fluctuating between 60 and 70 FPS on a Titan XP. The other demos were VR PC build as well as ZBrush 3D modeling and Dota 2 live streaming. The 6700K while using CPU encoding could not keep up with the 6900K or the new Ryzen 8 core. We also got another sneak peek at Ryzen plus Vega with Star Wars Battlefront at 4K 60 plus FPS. And that was the conclusion of the show. Nothing about price was mentioned other than the 6900K being an expensive piece of tech. So a bit of speculation here, but if the 6900K is considered expensive, we can at least predict that the 8 core Ryzen will cost less. And we also know that the 6900K loses to the i7-6700K in gaming because of the 6700K's strong single core performance. We didn't get any specific gaming benchmarks with the 6700K versus Ryzen other than Dota 2 in which we didn't even get performance numbers. So I'll go off on a limb here and bet that the 6700K or 7700K will have better single core performance. Other than that, I think this was a really well put together presentation by AMD and I can't wait to hear about official prices. Anyways, thanks for watching the video. Make sure you check out the links in the description for more in-depth info. Like and subscribe to show your support and again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.